Hi everyone, welcome to my video on how to make a pumpkin pie. First of all, you're going to need a pumpkin. Here's one that I bought earlier. And um, you could just make the pie straight from here or you could carve it out for Halloween. If you want to know how to do that, check out the video I made last year, which is on your screen at the moment. So, first of all, um, I'm going to carve this one out um, so that I've got a nice image Something to do. It's quite ther therapeutic, just cutting it out. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to speed that up because that isn't the focus of this video. Um, but I will show you the results at the end of it. there and I'll put it there and i put the image next to it which I was copying sort of roughly. That's not too bad actually once you get the angle right. Right so that's the carving done and now I'm going to move into making the pumpkin pie so I need a recipe. Right first of all what I'm going to do is slice the pumpkin up. Now all the um, stringy bits and the seeds are currently on the compost heap. So that just leaves me with this. A little bit dry, so I'm going to um, boil it. I've seen various methods um, of how to do this. Most people boil it. I have seen someone oven it, just put it in the oven like that. Um, this book actually says steam it between plates, and to be perfectly honest, I'm not entirely sure how I'd go about steaming it between plates. Um, Cut it into chunks like this, and then this makes it easier for me to get the, the good bits of pumpkin out. Um, I find in cutting it into little bits like this easier than I can just cut the uh, the usable bits off, like so. What I was going to do is cut around, like so, and then scoop it out, but this pumpkin is so hard that isn't working. But the recipe I'm working on is quite an old recipe, and it says I only need one pound of pumpkin. I haven't weighed this yet, but I'm guessing I've got slightly more than a pound of pumpkin here. There's so much food on this pumpkin. It seems crazy to me looking at the amount of food I'm getting out of this one pumpkin that a lot of people just buy their pumpkins, they carve them and then let them go off and bin them. Or compost them. And it's just like look at the amount of food I'm getting here. It's just crazy. Right, I'm quite sure this pumpkin has multiplied in size because well, I've taken out the stringy bits and the seeds two days ago, and they're on the compost heap. This is the bits I'm not using, and that's completely filled up. These are the parts I am using, that's completely filled up. I'm thinking, you know, it's like the pumpkin's like the TARDIS inside, it just sort of grows. Now, this recipe is asking for one pound of pumpkin, so I'll get the scales. It's uh, reading zero at the moment. Okay, that's um, one pound and seven eighths. So that's it. So, um, looks like I'm going to be doing a how to make a pumpkin soup video. Tune in for that one when I get around to making it. Because I've got a lot of pumpkin left over. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to boil this. I'm not going to steam it like it says on there because I'm not actually entirely sure how I'd go about doing that. So, um, this I'm going to um, cover put it in the fridge and I'm going to make some pumpkin soup out of it or something because there's a lot of food to go to waste if I don't use it. This I'm going to put some water in and boil it up. So I have the pumpkin on the hob now, I'll just move the camera down so you can see it. There it is. What you want to do is make sure that it's nice and soft. So obviously this was quite hard to cut through so 
got quite a while to go so I'm going to put a jump cut in now. So while the pumpkin is heating up I'm going to um, do the pastry. Right so I've, I've got ready made pastry, I'm afraid I'm cheating a bit here. So let's see what we've got. Right, so there's my pastry and obviously that is not going to fit on there. Oh you can't see that, hang on. Right, so obviously this pastry is not going to fit on here so it needs rolling out a little bit and the best way to do that is with a bit of flour and rolling pin. Alright, the only flour I've got is actually self-raising flour, but that's fine, it's just to stop it from sticking. This is actually the same flour that was used in the uh, friendship test challenge, um, where me and Aaron covered each other in food. So I said I'd use it for something good. Let's see if that fits. Right, that should fit nicely. Put that into camera shot. Place that down. Put it, put it in. Let's come down so you can see me on the camera. Trim on the edge. So I've just been reading the. Uh, instructions on the uh, pastry box and it says that instead of having to blind bake it first it will be ready to use if I just microwave it for 10 seconds so I'm going to do that because that will save a lot of time and a lot of gas from the oven um, so yeah I'm going to do that 10 seconds microwave it means I probably won't have to worry about the pie weights which I've got here um, so I'm going to do that right I've just put it in the microwave for 10 seconds and then it's allowed to stand for one minute. Oh, then unroll the pastry sheet. <laughs> Oops, never mind. Um, yeah, but it looks like I don't need to blind bake this. It just says microwave it, unroll it. I did that in the wrong order. Bake in preheated oven. Um, at the required temperature of your recipe. It just. Right, I'm just going to see how the uh, pumpkin's getting on in the saucepan. I think that is almost done. Right, next thing I'm going to need is some eggs from the pie. So, need to break the eggs into there. An egg. I'm going to keep the shell because this is good for um, deterring slugs from your plants. Two egg. It didn't even crack. There we go. Two egg. We'll put that up. Right, I need to add sugar. I need four ounces of caster sugar. Set that to zero with four ounces. It's quite a lot. Four ounces is a lot. This is an old recipe I'm working from. This was written back long before people knew sugar was bad for you. There you go, four ounces. Mm. All together. Right, so that's beaten together. Now I need to add the pumpkin to that. So what I'm going to do now is drain the water out from the saucepan. Okay, so you can see that there. All right, and I need to mash that up. Then mash up. Right, that's that's mashing quite easily now. That's nice and soft. I'm a bit worried there might be a bit too much water still in here. Or there might just be the pumpkin juices coming out. Add all of that. I'm going to add that into here. I'm going to do it like this so I can um, hold some of this, this liquid back. So I want it more concentrated. Mm -hmm. Mix that up. 
rid of that. I need four tablespoons of milk. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to need the spices. Okay, it says on here, it says one eighth of a level teaspoon of nutmeg. Um, so I guess what, what? Is that that? Ooh, that might be too much. Um, one eighth of a level teaspoon of ginger. Okay, and then two level teaspoons of ground tea cinnamon, so about that. There we go, that's about right. I recommend blending this. Right now, pour into here. So I need to cook it for 15 minutes at gas mark 7, which is 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Then I need to reduce the heat down to gas mark 4, which is 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, I think I should have really possibly made sure the pumpkin was a bit more pulped up, but I'm sure it'll be absolutely fine. So just getting that up to temperature, because I did use it recently, it's cooled down a little bit. So Heat back up. While that's warming up, I can put all this away. So I've washed everything up. The oven is now at temperature, so I'm going to take the pie, stick it into the oven, and hope for the best. Here we go. So 15 minutes from now, I will turn the gas down. It has had the 45 minutes, 15 minutes on high heat, 30 minutes on a slightly lower heat. And it is time to get it out of the oven and see if I have actually managed to create something wonderful or a disaster. So this is the pie literally straight out of the oven. I'm just going to prod it and make sure it's properly cooked. Alright, let's have a look. Okay, that is not ready. So I'm going to put that back in the oven for a little bit longer. I've had to give it a little bit extra in the oven because the centre of it wasn't setting. It. Um, so here it is now. Just lower the camera down so you can have a look. And around the edges it seems to be pretty okay. The middle bit could be a bit better but I've already given it um, 20 minutes extra. Um, but I think we're good now. I'm going to um, taste it. All right, let's see if I have done this well. It's a little bit difficult to get out this pan. I think we're good. I possibly could have actually used um, even more of the uh, pumpkin because it's actually quite low down in the pan. Now ideally you'd have this sort of some kind of cream or ice cream but I don't have any so I'm just going to see what it's like. Have I made something nice or a disaster? Alright. If you watch this video, treat it more of a, as a guide. Measure out your spices a bit better than I did. It's not bad. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye.